Welcome everyone to another video on this channel. This time we talk about how to measure distance on Google Maps on iPhone. So when you open up the Maps application, you might be just looking at a random city or whatever. And in case you want to measure the location, what you can do is to drop a pin on a map. Let's say this is going to be the, the pin that you dropped and you already have a measured distance like button right here, right? So when you just tap on this, if you, if you cannot find it, just tap on the pin once again, drop it. You can see that you can slide it up and here is the measured distance. So when you just start this, this is what's going to pop up. So you essentially have the main original point on the map and you can move around in here and you can just start the, you know, like drawing or whatever, like you can just move it over to any location and you can start measuring the distance. You might as well just add more points to the map in here and you can just do it like this, right? So that's how you essentially just, uh, of course, measure the distance. So this area is like, you know, 10,000 kilometers. So it is perhaps useful, but only in case you want to know the distance you know, on the map, not through the actual streets to get there. Because in case you want to measure the distance between two places, when you actually want to walk, taking into account that the streets and everything, then it is a completely different like story, right? So when you just, you need to come back and let's say we, we're going to keep this original point on the map, oh, which is, uh, I don't know, let's, let me just drop another pin right here. And in case I want to know the distance of like walking kilometers through the streets, what I got to do is tap on directions and then choose a starting point on a map. Let's say, I don't know, it's just going to be uh, somewhere here or whatever in here. Now we can begin and to see that when I click on this person view, it is going to tell me that it is 1.5 miles, but on actual streets, right? Which I can even choose like a different route or whatever, but uh, this is the actual real life distance. So not the distance of the two points on the map, but the distance when you actually go through the streets, right? So these are the options. Hope you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.